Welcome mathematicians. In this video, we're gonna dig a little deeper into slope. You already know that slope is another way of saying a linear function's constant rate of change. We use the variable m for slope, and slope is the rate of change where we look at the change in y between two y values and compare that to the change in x between two x values. Now to think a little bit deeper about this, let's start by drawing a graph to help visualize slope. So I'm just going to draw a coordinate plane, x and y axis, and let's just draw any line. I'm just going to have it come up like this. Now for slope, we can pick any two points on the line. So I'm going to pick that point and this point. Now I want to give those points um, coordinates. So I'm going to call this top point x, y, and this bottom point x y. Okay, we've got a problem. Can you see? I can't use the same variables to represent two different points. So to get around this with math, we have something called subscripts. So I'm going to say this is x sub 1 and y sub 1. I just put little ones down there. And this is x sub 2 and y sub 2. All right, so that helps distinguish those points. Now, when we're thinking about slope, we need to know the change in y. How does y change? And compare that to how x changes. So my vertical change, my change in y, is if I start at this top point, there's my change in y. And if I come over, this is my change in x. So I almost think of a little imaginary point there. It's not part of the line, but it's there. And if I had to give coordinates to that point, I know it has the same x value as this point and the same y value as this point. So I'm going to label that x1, y2. Okay. Um, some people, and this is typically for older people, some people will call um, the change in y, another word for that is the rise because you're going up and down. And some people will call the change in x the run. So I just want you to know that. So some people, when they talk about slope, they say it's rise over run. All right, that's just a little segue. All right, now let's try to think, how could we come up with our own little formula? We can just kind of create it on the fly for figuring out how do we find change in y and how do we find change in x. All right, so change in y is we're looking for the this change if we go from this y point to that y point. So to find change, we're going to just do subtraction. So I can think of this as y1 minus y2. If I do that subtraction, I'll find the change. Similarly, for change in x, that's the same as x1 minus x2. It's an x for that. All right, we could count on the graph, or we could, but this is just a quick way if you know two points, x and y, so you can use this little formula. So I'm going to write this in. y1 minus y2 will give us a change in y, and x1 minus x2 gives us our change in x. All right, there's so many different ways to calculate slope. Um, here's one little formula. I don't recommend, you know, you might just remember it, but if not, you can always draw yourself a little picture and um, figure out how to find that change. All right, mathematicians, um, next thing we're going to be thinking about as we're moving forward is slope tells us a lot about the line's direction and its steepness. So we'll be thinking about that moving forward. All right, see you soon, mathematicians.